Hello, I'm the CNC Repairman. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to recharge the nitrogen counterbalance on your mill. You're gonna need a hose like this you can purchase from CNC replacement parts, and you're gonna need a fresh nitrogen tank you can get from a local gas supplier. Let me show you how to do it. Don't screw in this T-handle on the Schrader valve. The center needs to be out or you'll back feed the hydraulic oil. For this one, just screw it in lightly and it doesn't need to be super tight. You'll need a large crescent wrench for the tank end and you'll need an 11 16 for the Schrader end. Don't over tighten the end on the tank. It's just copper. Now take your 11 16 verify that, that the T-nut is all the way out and go ahead and screw it into the little Schrader. Verify that the Schrader valve is tight. There's a small tank right here that is about half full of hydraulic fluid and the upper half is the charged nitrogen. With the pressure on top, it pushes the hydraulic oil down and gives the counterbalance its weight. So when I charge this line, it's gonna overcome the pressure of the Schrader valve and charge the top of the tank. This machine should be 750 PSI at the top of travel. I normally go about 50 PSI over and then I crack this right here to relieve the pressure inside the hose. This machine is right at 750. I'm gonna charge it to about 800 and then we'll release it. So I've got both ends tight and I'm just going to just crack this and you'll start to hear it. That's normal for the way it sounds and I'm gonna cut it right at 50 PSI over. Then I'll go ahead and just crack this right here to relieve the pressure inside of the hose. After you've charged the system, you can test the machine by pressing e-stop when the head is all the way up to verify that it doesn't come down and that you can clear the e-stop alarm if you had one. If you need any more info or tools, please check out CNC replacement parts or rebuild kits and anything else for your machine.